Hello and welcome to this next Marvelous Designer tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at the pleat tool in Marvelous Designer and we're going to make a knife pleated skirt. Uh, I'll do the other ones in separate videos so that you know it doesn't get uh, crazy complicated. Right so first of all uh, I want to know how uh, big her waist measurement is. So we'll go for a basic circumference measure on the avatar. And then I'll click a middle point and then shift to move across horizontally and then just move around and just have it ever so slightly off center, uh, you know, off horizontal. Uh, I, I don't think they're ever, you know, perfect. So if I go into the edit measure, I know that's now 797.7. .7. So we'll create a rectangle of 797.7. .7 and a height of, I don't know, 40, and then click OK. Right, so I'm going to attach this to this measure so that it doesn't sort of shift around too far. Uh, so we could use the measure menu, attach to measure, I'll click the measure, I'll click the waistband line or the top line on the waistband, and then we'll arrange it. So Shift F, and then select your pattern, and click the waist point there. So shift F again. Uh, let's sum up the uh, endpoints. There we go. And press space. So we have a waistband, which isn't going to move too far because you know we've attached it to the measure. Should be good. Okay, so to make a knife pleat, what I want is a pattern piece, which is um three times the size of this because each pleat is going to need three pa uh, three pieces of cloth uh, so let me get up my measures where's my measures gone uh, show line length there we go so 797.7 .7, uh, because i'm mathematically challenged i'm going to use my calculator there we go and that's 2393.1 okay so back to the rectangle tool just click into the viewport was it 2393.2 no it can't be 0.2 but it could be uh let's go and have a look 2393.1 there we go 2393.1 and i'll make this about 350 deep and click ok Right, so what we're going to do is just move this a little, whoops, with the transform tool there to get it center. Now, what we need to do to uh, pleat this is to add some internal lines. And the internal lines uh, are going to tell the material how to fold to form the pleat. So if I select the back or the um, left and right lines and right click and offset along internal line uh, or along curved we'll see that it comes in with one that's given me two pieces and if i add another line that will give me one whole pleat so two lines for a pleat but to get a second pleat we need another three lines so don't get caught into the trap saying oh, i want 60 pleats so i need 60 lines um, you essentially need 60 lines minus one because the end, um, the end pieces of the pattern count as one line. Uh, so 59, and that's okay. We'll click OK. So that's perfect. Now we need to tell it how to fold, and that's what the uh, pleat tool is for. So if we're on the pleats here, if we go to pleat fold, click on one side, then drag all the way to the other, and double click. Select knife pleat, it's got three uh, per pleat, and click OK. And now it's folded them as it should do. So each of these lines has a slightly different colour you'll see. So this one is like a bright red and is folded at zero degrees. This one is blue and is at 360, and this is a dark red which is at 180. And if I fold, uh, sorry, not fold, if I sew, the end up there we go because we can't set the angle 
on an end piece we have to do it on the on the sewing uh, line we can see that that fold angle is 180 so if I go back to just edit pattern so we have 0 360 180 and we can tell that by just selecting that so it says fold angle 180 so that's perfect okay next we need to sew it so sewing is again easy with the pleat tool go to pleat sewing and we select the first point on the waistband and then the last point single click on both and then click the first point on your top of your skirt and it won't work because i missed a step <laughs> i'm always missing it okay so these lines uh, aren't cutting this at the top so we need to cut the top so what i'm going to do is just select all of those it's not going to let me do that like that so let's select all of the top ones and it will select all those top points and then we can right click extend trim and add point to pattern outline and now when we use the pleat sew tool it should work sensibly so i'm going to click the first one and as i drag on it's going to take groups of three and add them in if you don't add the exact number of groups uh, or the exact number of folds uh, in there if you have one or two uh, left over it's going to start trying uh, sew around the corner so just make sure you've got that uh, you know initial cuts right so last click and that should do the job and each of these pieces now is uh, sewn in a particular way so the first one is sewn to the waistband the second one is sewn to the third but it's also sewn whoops if i click again to the first so one of them is sewn to the waistband and the rest of, are all sewing to each other okay right so let's uh, fold uh, or arrange this just move that out of the way and shift f to get my fold arrangement points up i'll select the skirt one between her legs there and then just to make life a little bit easier i'm going to offset this so that it expands out there we go it's still folding over itself but um, it's better to have it you know less if you know what i'm saying so i'm just going to select the waistband and freeze it and then press space and it's going to do the job you might find that it complains a bit that's almost certainly where there was some overlap going on uh, in the arrangement but that's okay we can just give it a tease and it should work out okay now um part of the kind of shimmering that's going on here is because it's really sort of struggling to figure out what to do uh, part of that is the waistband which i can unfreeze and that will help it work but it's still shimmering quite a bit and that may be down to your particle distance because these are you know created at the default of 20 uh, which might not be enough you'll see that each of these segments up here is 39 millimeters so you're only getting sort of one and uh, you know two maybe um polygons down each and that's going to cause it you know to struggle a little so i'm just going to select both of these and as a bit of an experiment we'll set the particle distance to 15. that may not be enough but i like to you know are on the side of caution and I could see that relax a little which is good but perhaps 10 would be better there we go so that's him I think that's probably as good as it's going to get you know any more than that and it's going to start lagging and it looks pretty good you know there's absolutely nothing wrong with this skirt um now a lot of the 
problems that I personally have with this skirt is when I export it to use it and rig it in something else, the multiple folds and the multiple sewings on the top of the pleats uh, have a tendency to show up artifacts. Um, so, you know, it may not be suitable uh, for that. Um, but, you know, there is an alternative which I'll, I'll show you in just a second. Uh, I have one last thing to do, uh, which is go onto my fabrics because you find that the default fabric is may not, maybe not the best for this. Uh, but this cotton down here, this cotton Oxford, uh, is pretty good. So if I drag and drop that onto my fabric, you'll see that that just stiffens it up in places and starts to, you know, give it a little bit of uh, stability and shape. There we go. Okay. So that's the pleated skirt. Uh, sorry about that. Um, bit of a weird edit at the end there. Uh, I got experimental and it went horribly wrong. <laughs> you know, sometimes things make sense in your head, but they don't actually work practically. And that's what we got there. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that uh, that tutorial. Um, I'm going to do the other pleats uh, in separate tutorials to keep them nice and compact. Uh, if you have any questions, ask below and I'll talk to you again soon.